What is up YouTube, Johnny B here again today and we're gonna be bringing you the final video on my 98 Toyota Tacoma. I know this is not your average build, but it has been a lot of fun for me. Not having something really that we're just like modifying to go on the racetrack, but just doing like a little bit of a, like a restore on an older truck that I have a lot of fun driving and it's really comfortable as a daily. So this is pretty much, you know, it, it's been my daily for the last couple months. I've had it, you know, driving most of the time, I, I think as, you know, that's how I got it. It's a little beater truck that had faded paint. It had a, a rip in the seat. The carpet had a hole on the floor. Uh, a lot of scratches, dings here and there. But always that little Tacoma never had any uh, mechanical issues. As soon as I got it, I started doing spark plugs, started doing oil change, you know, just pretty much getting all the maintenance up to date. I did put um, newer tires on there uh, for my local tire shop and uh, just drove it, just had a lot of fun driving and I needed to go pick up a, a motorcycle, a, a YZ 450 that I bought and I went all the way to Las Vegas and that thing uh, was like a four hour drive that way and then another four hours drive this way so a total of like eight hour driving and the thing that gave me, it didn't give me any issues like it, it was a lot, of, a lot of fun driving the little four banger all the way over there too and going up the hills it was just a strong so I'm very happy with this truck it looks gorgeous now, you know, obviously after all the things that I've done to it to try to restore it with the new paint, the new bumper, polishing the headlights, new tail lights, uh, new carpet, reupholstering the seat, painting the whole dash and like a bunch of various pieces that were scratched up. Uh, it's looking really good now, so I'm just here to show it to you guys now, so enjoy. So here is the new daily. It is a 1998 Toyota Tacoma. Clean title, one owner, zero accidents, apart from, looks like they must have hit something here. And did a little bit of body work, and then this door is a different color. But the rest of it seems to be in decent condition. It's a little beat up, and we need to be replacing some things here and there, making it look a little bit nicer. But overall, this thing drives really great. It just needs a tune-up. So that's what I'm gonna do first. That way I can drive it around with confidence that knowing that everything is good. So here's a sneak peek of how the engine bay looks. I put a brand new battery in it and everything else seems pretty good. Seems like the, the valve cover gasket leaks a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. At the same time I replace the spark plugs because it's gonna be a little bit easier to access it while I'm already there. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything that's in the way of removing the valve cover. And obviously it's gonna be making it a little bit easier to remove the spark plug seeing as there's some stuff in the way so we're going to remove everything so starting with the cables for the throttle pretty much start removing all this i might need to remove that 12 millimeter bolt that's bolted right there and then we have some clamps here so we can go ahead and remove this pipe here and then remove that hose that little pcv valve vacuum thing and yeah pretty much remove all that so we can go ahead and take it all apart it's all being held on by 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. These clamps are a bit of a pain to remove, so I'm going to be using my little pliers to go ahead and remove those. This thing's on here pretty tight. So I was actually able to remove the whole intake tube just by detaching the filter. And now that we're here, we can go ahead and replace the filter as well. It looks pretty filthy. Good thing I got a whole another one. So now I just went ahead and pulled the cables off and looks like we're getting everything freed up. Now it looks like we can go ahead and start removing the valve cover, except for that this little plastic piece right here that houses the wire seems to be in the way with some of the bolts. So hopefully it's not, but if it is, we're gonna have to move it out of the way a little bit. Okay, got all the bolts off. Had to remove the wiring harness around the valve cover. Got them all off with my little DeWalt impact gun and a 10 millimeter socket on it. So now it should be ready to pop off. Seems to still be tied on this. So we're gonna have to pry it out a little bit. So there we go, I popped it off. And to pop it off, I used my trusty little pry bar, which is not so little but you get the point all you have to do is pry in a spot a little section that works i use this little this little metal flange here to pry up on that little bolted area right there and it popped right up so you know 
it's, you just have to find a spot where you can pry it from pretty much. You can use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, uh, to go ahead and pop it up. But now it is detached. So I'm just gonna grab it and uncover the beauty that this engine is on the inside. Okay, so I got the new gaskets on. And I put a little bit of right stuff on there just to make sure there's an even better seal. Cleaned up on top of the head. Make sure it gets a nice proper seal. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it back on and bolt it back on using different grommets because those grommets are all worn out. So let's go ahead and swab them out. Got it all bolted back on with the new grommets. And now it's time to go ahead and remove the spark plugs. They actually don't look that bad. They are burning quite good. This one has a little bit of yellowing. But nonetheless, I'm going to be swapping them out for some iridiums just so I can hopefully increase the fuel economy on this thing with this little tune-up and with the new filter. This thing should be running tip-top. All I have to do after that is probably do an oil change. So here are the new ones that we're going to be throwing in. NGK iridiums made in Japan, so these should help out quite a bit. Spark plugs are now in, and now we can start piecing it all back together just like it was. So now we can go ahead and put the intake back on and start connecting all of the hoses back so we can go ahead and give it a little test start. The engine is running much smoother now so hopefully that will help improve some MPGs and also you know keep the reliability going with this little Toyota. So one of the things that I have to do to the Tacoma is take out the carpet because it is disgusting. It's all ripped up in some areas like there and where your feet go, it's all tore up. So we're gonna get rid of this carpet. Now that we got the truck freshly painted, it's all dried up, I can go ahead and start putting on the new tail lights. I got a new little door, a rear door a latch. We also have the bumpers and pretty much a lot of new things just so the truck is gonna look you know really nice after the paint job we want everything to look good so I'm gonna go ahead and start installing all that stuff so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and install is gonna be the rear the tailgate latch here's a brand new one just because the one that I had before was kind of broken this was kind of sideways so I figured I'd put a brand new one and it comes with brand new clips and everything Uh, that looks so good with the new little tailgate door opener. Let's see if it works. There it goes. Opens up very nice. Closes up. It's already looking like a brand new truck just with that. So now the next thing to do is put on the new tail lights. Here's one of them. I already installed the other one. The ones that were on here before were broken and uh, they were not shiny. So these being like super shiny and new, it's gonna make the rear end look a whole lot better. Oh man, look at that. It is looking good with the new tail lights. Wow, that is looking really good. Still gotta fix the little gap, so I just gotta pull the bed together. But other than that, wow, the truck is looking super nice. Need to put the rear bumper on there. And we will be done with the back and we can continue with the rest of the truck. Just to show you guys how complete this is, like this is where you put the light in for the license plate. And it's missing the little tabs there, but you, it comes with them. You can see here, it even comes with the little plastic clips for the license plate and the bolts to put on your license plate. Like this thing's literally complete. Like. 
it has everything you need that's crazy they even included the bolts that's like i don't even need those i mean i'm gonna use them because they're nice but they included the bolts i don't even have to swap over none of the plastics from the other bumper that is amazing you guys don't understand how rare this is so it's the next day and we got the truck put together got the got everything on it um the front is all done as well so i'm gonna show you guys that now but before that i want to show you what the front bumper actually looked like and that's really really nasty you know the plastic that it's supposed to be like is like in here and then over here it had already discolored and then it had this little chrome piece right here in the front of it um but i wanted to delete a lot of the chrome and just go with something nice and black and you guys can see my press right here picked up some dirt as i drove into the alley it's just normal for a, a low car so let me show you guys what the front looks like now so check it out look at the front looking so good it is the tofu truck next to the tofu car over here you know we gotta represent and then back here we got a brz ts it's getting a little dark right now but you can still kind of appreciate how nice the truck is looking i really like the black bumpers good thing i didn't i was debating whether to paint them or not but i think going with like the black bumpers is definitely the look so i'm excited with the exterior now i gotta get the interior all restored making it look nice and then we will be done with a little takumita so far looking good i think i probably have about like 15 minutes taking everything apart got a lot of the pieces back here and now it's getting to the point where I need to remove the airbag. I need to remove the, this little switch for the airbag, which also has a yellow connection, and then the yellow connection for the airbag underneath this part of the dash. Uh, before removing that, I'm gonna disconnect the battery uh, so that the airbag light doesn't pop on next time I go to turn on the truck. So that way we don't have to worry about an airbag light being on for a truck that's never been in an accident. So here's that got that unplugged and uh, now to continue removing the dash the dash is now finally out and the inside of the truck is looking pretty bare but we were gonna definitely find where that um, AC leak is coming from where the o-rings are messed up so I'm excited to get that done so we can have AC in this truck once again without the issue of it going out again now we can have a lot more access to all the HVAC system, which is right under here. And I get to go crazy with uh, cleaning all of this so it's not so dirty and dusty and grimy everywhere. So the first thing we did was go ahead and loosen up these two nuts that go here. Um, they are gonna be what's holding on the, the EVAP on the inside, which is where I assume it's leaking because I can smell Freon on the inside. So that should be, all good now might want to just separate them a little bit and then on the inside the evap core is in here so took out this little sensor here disconnected a bunch of the plugs and we got a bolt right there there's a bolt right up here and then there's a bolt there there and there under here and then this thing is actually loose now yeah, as you can see i just gotta go ahead and disconnect it from over there maybe it might be disconnected now uh, probably not so i want to take out the o-rings from over here still or at least separate them so that it's not catching got the evap core out and it's not looking too good look at that that looks nasty i wonder i think i might just replace everything just so i don't have to deal with it let's take it apart first got some bolts here and got some clamps around it as well that need to be removed yeah, look at that with the cover off you can definitely see how nasty this all is unfortunately i don't believe this year had um the cabin air filter so typically that would save this from happening but with these older cars they didn't really have that set up yet and uh this is what would happen they would just catch everything here and you'd get all this smell and i'm smelling it it's kind of like dirty down there so definitely like antifreeze coming out of the system causing it to do that so I think I'm just gonna end up replacing it because I don't feel like cleaning all of this mess, to be honest. So, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and order everything. So I went to the store, got myself a new EVAP, got the new expansion valve right there, and then I got some O-rings for it that goes with the kit. So we can just replace all that and uh, not worry about any leaks 
or having to clean anything because look at that thing it's nice and clean compared to the stock one so now i have to clean this box clean that box where it's all like grimy in there make sure you get all that out and uh, put it back in so obviously we got to clean this up since this is what we're going to be breathing in so i got it all cleaned up same thing with the top piece got that all cleaned up now we can go ahead and put this back together uh, with the evap core inside of it and uh, now we won't have to breathe in that nasty stuff that's right there so this is actually pretty exciting i've never done this before uh, so it's kind of a cool experience to be able to do that to this little tacoma and the process of you know restoring it to where it's not 100 percent restored but it's going to be a very nice little tacoma i'm gonna paint the dash black it was unfortunately very scratched up as you can see there so i might need to do a little bit more sanding and filling in of that but overall the paint came out pretty nice you can still see all the textures and uh didn't really like this this gray it was kind of getting kind of faded so i figured might as well just do the whole thing i just did a little test run on the bottom section and it actually looks pretty good so figured why not we'll just make it black make whatever we need to make black so it looks nice inside i got the interior put in and now one of the things that i needed to address was the check engine light it has a check engine light for some sort of like vacuum leak i forgot what it was because i haven't looked at it in a while and i was just driving it because i know it was nothing important uh and then i saw that it's typically this like little egr box that uh has that that issue because they tend to crack so i took it out i checked all the hoses a lot of the hoses were damaged as well so they had some cracks in them so i proceeded to cut off the ends so that they could be fresh again and they still reach so that was perfectly fine but the box did show some signs of cracks so i'm going to show you that now your hoses but in this case you can see there that's a pretty big crack that's on the bottom of this little box here and it's all the way around so i'm going to go ahead and use some uh, rtv or gasket maker from permatex to go ahead and seal it all up and then i'll probably just paint it so it matches too because it's it's a gray gray one i don't have a black one and i don't feel like going to go buy one down to the store since this is going to work just as good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reseal the whole bottom of it and then i'll just paint it after it dries and then put it back into the tacoma so we don't have any check engine lights uh because of it so let's seal that up i'm very happy with this truck it looks gorgeous now, you know, obviously after all the things that I've done to it to try to restore it with the new paint, the new bumper, polishing the headlights, new tail lights, uh, new carpet, reupholstering the seat, painting the whole dash and like a bunch of various pieces that were scratched up. Uh, it's looking really good now, so I'm just here to show it to you guys now, so enjoy.
Thank you.